It probably won't surprise you one bit when I tell you that I love ice cream. It's true. I never met an ice cream flavor I didn't like, and I think homemade ice cream is especially delicious. Now, strawberry ice cream happens to be one of my favorite homemade flavors. It's so delicious. Now, the ice cream starts with a basic custard, and I use the same recipe no matter what kind of ice cream I'm making. I'll start by pouring three cups of half and half into a saucepan, and then I'll add two cups of sugar. Is it any wonder homemade ice cream is so delicious? Now, I'll turn on the heat, and I'll just stir this to get the heat going. And while that warms up, I've got a vanilla bean. Vanilla bean is something I always add to homemade ice cream. It adds just amazing flavor. It is one of my go-to ingredients, and it goes right into the half and half and sugar mixture. Now, I'll just stir this until it gets really, really hot before I move on. Now, Lad and the kids love ice cream just as much as I do, of course. Anytime I have a carton of the homemade stuff in the freezer, it disappears like that. The half and half mixture is nice and piping hot. That's exactly how I want it. Now, I have nine egg yolks and I whisked them just for a few minutes until they were nice and light yellow. That's the perfect color. Now I'm gonna temper these egg yolks. I'll take a ladle of the hot mixture. And while I whisk the yolks, I'll just gradually drizzle it in really, really slowly. We all know what happens if we add eggs to really hot liquid. So tempering the yolks just slowly brings them up to temperature. The bowl feels warm and that's perfect. So now I can just pour it right in without any fear. <laughs> Nobody should make ice cream with fear. Now I'm just gonna slowly cook this for a few minutes. So when it's thick enough to coat the spoon, it's done. Then it just gets poured through a fine mesh strainer into a pitcher. And this is where things get even better. Three cups of heavy cream. It just gets added to the custard and stirred in. And that's the custard all done. Now it just needs to go into the fridge for a couple of hours. Now I've got to turn this into strawberry ice cream, and I'll do that by making a strawberry puree. I've just got a good amount of hulled strawberries, and I'll add a little bit of sugar, just about two tablespoons or so. The custard is pretty sweet, so the strawberries don't need much. Now I'll just get the lid on, let the blender go. What a gorgeous sight. That should be good. I mean, the blender is just bright reddish pink. And just wait till you see what it does to this gorgeous custard. I'll just pour it in and swirl it around. I love it when it looks like a pink and yellow marble. <laughs> oh gosh, it's so pretty. Now, I really love the natural pink color. If you want to bump it up a little bit more, you can add some natural red food dye, just a drop or two. Now I'll let the ice cream maker do the really hard part. I'll just pour in about half of this. This maker freezes about half of this quantity at a time. But that's okay, it is totally worth the wait. Get the lid on. Now it's just about patience. My machine takes about an hour to turn the custard into ice cream. Then it's just a matter of getting it into a freezer safe container, covering it and putting it into the freezer for a few hours until it's frozen. Then I just get the second half of the ice cream into the machine to freeze. And when it's done its hour, it also goes into the container. Then the lid goes on and it goes into the freezer with the other batch. And now the moment of strawberry ice cream truth. I'm gonna get a couple big scoops of this. Freezing it for several hours really gives it that great firm consistency just the way I like my ice cream. Now, the ice cream is beautifully pink, so I'll just pop up the color by sprinkling on some chopped strawberries. Oh, how pretty is this? I cannot wait another second. I'm gonna dig in. Do me a favor, don't tell my kids this is in the freezer. Let's just keep it between us. Mmm, so good.